What it is, what it is, what it is, you do, you know who it is, it's your boy the moose, let's kick it. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound. Go clever words, I got a voice that you never heard. My cousin Vinny will what? Let's discuss this. Okay, so this is like maybe it annoys me. This annoys me more than anything in the world. Okay, so you get a bid. You pay for the bid. And this is why I don't like doing this. You pay for the bid. And the client's all like asking you all the information and everything else. You send the paperwork to the client. And then the client gets back with you and says, my cousin will do it for free. And the first thought in my head is, That's what you're going to get. You understand. I've been to parties like that. And it's funny because I mentioned, I mentioned to family, they're like, oh, don't worry about that. That's what they do. That's what it is. And it's, it's the stupidest thing I ever saw. Um, there's no mix rate, there's nothing. They just play. And then there'll be gaps in the music. They won't mix the music, nothing. They'll play the music, and then they'll play another song. They don't read the crowd, they're over there just talking and japping and, and everything else. Drinking, eating, and carry on. That's what they do. That's what they do. And unfortunately, it happens all the time. And usually they get a closest friend or a family relative to do that. And it's not considered DJing. They're not DJing. What? It's not called DJing. It's not DJing. You're just playing music. You're a record player. That's all you're doing. Um, don't get me wrong. They just got a laptop. They don't got nothing else. A laptop and speakers, and that's it. This one had a microphone at least. They don't even go my. They don't need no microphone. They don't say nothing. They just play music. And they're not standing up. They're sitting down. That's the way it goes. And I, it just annoys the crap out of me that I, I do this. And then just like, it happens to me a lot. It's <laughs> That's why I'm voicing it now. But it's happened to me a couple times. couple times. And I'm like, okay, have a good party. If you ever need GJ, let me know. And I leave that hint to him. And... Typically, I get a call back from that family later on down the road. One, uh, like, it happened to me two years ago. And they said, no, 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 we don't need you, we don't need you. And then they had a party or whatever. And then it ends up being a standing gig. So it's just, you know, you, you really can't do much. And don't be mean to the client because um, the client's undecisive of what they want. Um, I 
have been uh, talking to clients for the past couple of days, and a lot of them don't understand. Um, I talked to a lady that is, well, she's getting married. Um, um, she's been, uh, they're, they're an older couple. And this is typical for me. Um, this is typical wedding for me. I usually get them 40 plusers that, um, they want a good DJ and they want the good, they want the good music. Um, they just, you know, it's just that way. So that's what this is about today. It's just about a little bit of touching base. Um, what do you do? Okay, first thing is if you're communicating with a client and they's like, well, they start mentioning family, don't say, don't say anything negative. Don't ever say anything negative because let me say this to you. A review can be two ways. A review can be one to hurt you and harm you, or one that could be a bushy. But if you say a negative a comment, and that person's a review happy person, they're going to leave you in the dust with the review. And as DJs, we're professionals, so we need to hold ourselves professionally. And that's why I wanted to share this with you because, you know, I, I'll, I'll read you what it says. Um, so you don't have to guess. Okay. Okay, so this is what I said last night. I said, have you all figured out? Uh, please let me know so I can get started. Or if you hired someone else, let me know. And he said, sorry for the wait. We're waiting to hear back from a family friend. And it looks like he's going to do it for us after all. And then after that, I said, thanks. Have a good party. When you're leaving a positive influence on somebody that just rejected you, you're going to get a better option later down the road by when somebody else rejects you or something happens. To have a heated conversation over something is being a professionally wrong. So um, when we're um, when we're in a, in a conversation with a client, um, we have to be professional the way we talk. And if we're not professional the way we talk. Sour th apples can come from it, and you don't want sour apples. Not being a DJ, because for one, if you're if you're on Google, they're gonna find you, and then they're gonna tear you up in a review. So you have to be very careful how you talk to clients. Treat them like. Treat them like you would want to treat a child that is under the age of four. You can treat them very respectfully sometimes. You're going to treat them docile because they could react in, you in, in a different way. But that's one thing that we need to do as DJs is we need to make sure that when we're communicating with clients, that we don't talk ugly to that client because it could come back and haunt us later on down the road. So that's what this video is about. Um, getting old cousin Vinny over here to do your DJing. <laughs> it's a mess. Um, also, um, I, I did want to say that. So um, be on the lookout for that. And if it ever happens to you, um, let me know in the comment below what you would do, um, if they said they had Cousin Vinny coming, and, um, you haven't sent no, uh, you sent the bid, you sent everything in, so everything's paperwork sent to that person, all that stuff, now, what does he do, he hires his cousin, but that's okay, that's okay, I mean, that's okay, it's just another, uh, another gig lines up right behind it, so, it just it just happens. 
Um, so let me go ahead and leave you with the final quote. And hopefully we can find a good one this time. Let's see what the final quote has to say. PSA. Do the right thing when no one is looking. It's called integrity. Peace. Uh, uh.